Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Um, this week we've been looking at uh, um, God's design for us as believers, God's blueprint for us as believers. And today uh, we are going to look at uh, the fact that God has um, a blueprint, has a design and a picture, and He calls us the lampstand. The people of God are the lampstand. Um, and uh, so we, we look at Revelation chapter 1 and verse 20. And we read that uh, uh, John has this vision. He has a vision about the seven stars and also the seven golden lampstands. And uh, the Lord Jesus explains about these lampstands. He says, these lampstands that you see are the seven churches. So you see that church is not a structure, it's not a building, but it's really the people of God. And um, here the lampstands are referred to as the people of God. So we look at, okay, what is this? lampstand referred to. In the Old Testament, we see that there is a golden lampstand in the tabernacle of Moses. And this lampstand was the, um, the only source of light in, that, in the holy place and where the priest could go and um, he could partake of the showbread. And this lampstand was, this lamp um, was continually burning. It was a seven branched lampstand called the menorah and it was Continually, the flame was continually on, it was continually burning, and it was illuminating the table of showbread, so, which was indicative of the Word of God and communion uh, with the Lord Himself. And also the altar of incense, which, um, which was symbolic of the prayer and worship um, of the Lord, prayer towards prayer and intercession towards the Lord and worship of the Lord Himself. So our role as the lampstand is that we need to illuminate the hearts and minds uh, of people so that they can understand God's Word, partake of God's Word, commune with the Lord Himself, and also come to a place of communion, prayer, and worship of the Lord. So we as the lampstand, we have this privilege, we have this ministry. Each believer, every believer has this ministry. And uh, the Lord Himself came as the light of the world and He has given us this mission to follow in His footsteps. The Lord Jesus says in Matthew chapter 5, you are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. This is who you are and uh, a light is not hidden but is actually set on a hill so that everyone can see. It is not put under a basket but it is in a place where the light can shine and people can see. So in verse 16, Matthew chapter 5 and verse 16, he says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. So the good works that we do is supposed to expose the works of darkness. Good works that we do, it shines as light before men. And the good works that we do reveals who the Father is and so that the Father is glorified. Um, there is also a warning to the church in, F in, Revelations, uh, in Revelation chapter 2 about the church in Ephesus. It says that if the things are not set right, then, then the Lord says that the lampstand will be removed, which means that ability to shine to point to the Father, to reveal the works of the Father is actually, uh, will be diminished and it will be removed. So that's a sober warning for us that we will actually live as those lampstands. And it's a privilege to do this. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you that uh, you have in your wonderful plan and purpose, Lord, called us to be the lampstands, to shine light, to develop, people, Lord, so that they might partake of the word and commune with you and also minister in prayer and worship and intercession, God. And Lord, we pray that uh, we'll be faithful to do this, we'll be faithful to walk in this, even as we ourselves personally, Lord, walk in this daily. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.